association with Midwest Whitetail. AFM and AFM Land Cells presents Chasing Creation. Jason Creation's been brought to you by AFM and AFM Land Sales, The Great Outdoors, Surf and Turf, G&G Taxidermy, Franklin Signs and Graphics, Allied Insurance, Acorn Prints, Tire Country, Max Baxter Roofing, Quality Landscape Materials, Cloniters Inc., and H2O Hydro Graphics. Hey, thanks for watching Chasing Creation. Now today, we've got the lowdown of something brown hitting the ground in an all dad sheep showdown right here in North Carolina. Words of Woody Guthrie, this land is your land, so you should have the right to protect it. And of American Forest Management, we have the expertise to help you protect your land for generations to come. We're your best source for forest and land management, environmental and wildlife services, as well as investment and appraisal services. Our brokerage company, AFM Land Sales, is actively engaged in the rural property market every day. We specialize in timberland, recreation, conservation, development, and agricultural properties. The combination of American Forest Management and AFM Land Sales, the most all-inclusive team of professionals you can work with, from purchase to sale and all forest management activities in between. Land. Since 1966, that's been our only business. Give us a call today at 855-AFM-LAND. American Forest Management and AFM Land Sales, providing services for your natural investment. Franklin Signs started in 1996 with the goal of producing only quality handcrafted signs to fit the customer's budget. And from that goal, we have signs of all shapes, sizes, and construction throughout the country. We are now a handcrafted sign facility, also offering state-of-the-art computer equipment. Our goal is to develop long-term partnerships. Franklin Signs is dedicated to you because we have a vested interest in your success and ours. Call today for a free estimate. Have you heard about Gaston County's best kept secret, the Surf and Turf Lodge? Surf and Turf Lodge is not your ordinary fish camp. We offer a wide selection of top quality menu items like our steak, chicken, ribs, chops, seafood, and don't forget about our Captain Jack's children's menu. Surf and Turf Lodge offers our full menu for dine-in and carry-out with our easy and convenient drive through service. Stop by the Surf and Turf Lodge, conveniently located in Bessemer City. We're open Wednesday through Saturday for dinner and Sundays for lunch. This segment is brought to you by AFM. Now this whole story starts back to when my old Dallas, North Carolina buddy and cameraman, Joe Tony, spotted this thing he called the goat deer, roaming around on some land he had permission to hunt back in 2010.
Now, old Joe never got a close look of the goat deer, or did he have a trail camera out to get a close-up picture, but he knew to hung out with the local deer herd, and he was one crazy-looking buck. seen our friend the goat deer all right he's obviously not a deer he's obviously in the goat family we just didn't know what so I took a picture off my LCD screen on the camera showed it to my tax taxidermist Mike Grooms over at GNG taxidermy and he immediately said Jeff you're hunting an all dad Barbary sheep from North Africa what well after Mike gave me the verdict that it was an all dad sheep I went home, pulled up Google Pictures, and he was dead on it. We're hunting an all-dad sheep in North Carolina. Still can't believe it. Well, our next step was to confirm that we could actually shoot an all-dad sheep in North Carolina. We knew there were no game laws, and it wasn't protected under the uh, North Carolina law, so Mike hit a call up to the North Carolina game warden. We confirmed that it was not protected under the game laws. You could use any weapon for this sheep. So we started our chase and continued our chase, and continued our chase. And this takes you on up now to November. Now I finally told Joe, I said, I said, this is your goat deer. You've been watching this thing and, and you've put a, put a pattern on him. I said, let me film you shooting a goat deer. He agreed, we climbed the stand and the evening, right before Thanksgiving, rolled around. I might, hopefully we're gonna be giving thanks here in a minute. Uh, it's the day before Thanksgiving. We are in North Carolina. We've had our quest for this uh, all dad sheep has uh, started back last fall. Hopefully it's getting ready to end. He's stepping out to the field up here. He's a big boy. And I'm just waiting for him to clear some limbs. Uh, we just got in the stand this afternoon, evening before Thanksgiving. We're trying to shoot an all dad sheep here in North Carolina. Don't know where he came from, but we hopefully know where he's getting ready to go. If we can put a good shot on him. Joe and I are climbing the stand Thanksgiving Eve. And Joe says, there he is. Jim, there's the goat. Why don't you shoot him? I'll take one of these bucks out here. Go ahead. Go ahead. Then I find myself with a gun, trying to get a shot. 175 yards, wind's blowing 15 miles an hour. Tried to rest on the tree, the tree's moving. Tried to rest in my lap, the limbs are in my way moving. I was as nervous on this all dad sheep as any big buck I've ever taken. He's looking.
goaded down. When I finally pulled the trigger and Joe and I watched this uh, all dad sheep fall, that I didn't have to spend $5,000 to go to Africa and uh, it was pretty much a free gift of the Lord. Uh, he knew I would enjoy this, me and Joe, uh, first time cameraman Joe, and uh, we just had a good time celebrating right there after a long journey with the old goat. I've got me an all dad right here. I didn't have to go to North Africa. I didn't have to go to an exotic ranch in Texas and spend four or five thousand dollars. Got it for my sportsman license here on my home turf in North Carolina in my backyard. I guess the good Lord knew I'd never be able to <coughs> go there and uh, chase one of those things. He brought one to me. Thank you, Lord. <laughs> it's fun. Down in the woods, he he shot he shot I the deer. I want to see it. Are you excited, huh? <laughs> what's that? It's, like, it's down there in the woods. Give him five. Give five. What was that? Listen, we've been watching that thing all year long, haven't we? Yeah, but <laughs> let me go see it. We get ready to pull it out of the woods right now. Y'all want? You can yep. ride back with us. Come on, you can ride back with us. Oh, we can. Yeah. Yeah, boy. All right. Give me five. <laughs> Am I really on camera? <laughs> Hold it up, hold, hold it up, Larry, look. hold it up for him. Yeah. There you go, look in the camera, David. Big time. <laughs> <laughs> this is the official bean watching patrol right here. <laughs> Get all you need for the great outdoors at the Great Outdoors Charitable. Get all the gear and accessories to make that next fishing or hunting trip successful. Plus a whole lot more work clothes, footwear, archery equipment, and a huge selection of guns and ammunition. At the Great Outdoors, you'll find those hard-to-find local fishing lures everybody's talking about on the Bass and FLW Tours. Plus, the latest from various custom lures, hand-painted crankbaits, Brian's B, Strike King, and more. Hunters, there's a huge selection of outdoor clothing, tree stands, all the accessories, and a selection of guns that make Mr. Winchester, Smith & Wesson, and Ruger blush. The Great Outdoors is your bow hunting headquarters. It's authorized dealers for several lines, including Matthews and Parker. The Great Outdoors has just what you need. If it has to do with the outdoors, it has to be at the Great Outdoors, conveniently located in Cherville, North Carolina at 112A Cherry Street. Call them 704-445-8848 or log on 24-7 at teamgreatoutdoors.com. Allied Insurance is conveniently located on 321 in Clover, just seven miles from the North Carolina state line. Allied Insurance covers both North and South Carolina, working in all lines of insurance, life, home, auto, business, motorcycle, and boat. We represent many insurance companies saving you time and money. While you enjoy life, we'll work for you. Call for a free insurance comparison and remember, Allied Insurance, your insurance saving store. At Tire Country, we believe the best deal is not always the best price. If you spend a couple dollars extra now to get a better product that lasts longer and is made right here in the United States, you'll be way ahead in the long run. You'll leave Tire Country a customer for life. Just ask your neighbor. We've been keeping them on the road for over 30 years. Take advantage of 90-day financing with no credit check. All you need is a valid driver's license and checking account. This is your Tire Country, Union and Garrison, next to Bojangles, Gastonia. This segment is brought to you by The Great Outdoors. Another tip for all y'all bow hunters out there, one thing we gotta do is to make sure the air is flying straight. One thing you can do is bring it up to The Great Outdoors here. We'll put our laser on your bow, make sure your rest is center shotted and level. That way it'll keep that air flying straight all season. Hope y'all have a good week and good luck this season.
Since the mid-1980s, Quality Landscape Materials has been helping our clients develop and realize their landscaping needs and goals. We offer a variety of commercial and residential services, from landscape maintenance, construction, seasonal plants, to irrigation services and installations. We also have a large supply of mulch, topsoil, and gravel on site. We're located just off 85 at exit 14. Quality Landscape Materials is where quality comes first. Max Baxter Roofing is a family-owned business with more than 25 years of experience. Our attention to detail is definitely what makes us different. Some of our services include tear-offs and re-roofs, rubber roofs, gutters, and vinyl siding. We are licensed and insured, and all our work is guaranteed. Here at Max Baxter Roofing, our philosophy is we go to the max to cover your tops. So stop by and visit us or call at 704-629-4064. This segment is brought to you by Acorn Prince. been there long uh, 20 minutes and here come my mama and three little ones Not long after that, I was getting ready, just getting ready to shoot the mama doe, and we heard a grunt up in the woods. Wasn't long after that, we had two nice 10 pointers cross the fence about 150 yards in front of us and come right out in the middle of the field and started to eat. After she got out in the field, Dwayne told me grunt a couple times and see if you can get their attention. He come in below the stand. I ranged it at 39 yards and he come right directly to the tree that I ranged. Right under. I tried to grunt and stop him, but he didn't stop in my window and I had to lean forward to put the shot on and I think that was my downfall, a big miss. It 
was a nice 10 pointer. Um, the bucks are on their feet. Uh, he's unscathed. We've got game cam pictures of him in a scrape, a video in a scrape. So he's still here. Uh, we're looking forward to giving, getting another crack at him. Muzzle loading starts here in Virginia this Saturday. Uh, me and Dwayne, we're on our way to Illinois. So stay tuned. Hopefully we've got a lot of good footage to come. spot. The wind's finally a little bit better. The hunt is spot. Uh, got a lot of fog and uh, drizzling rain right here. Uh, we've got a soybean field that's been cut behind us. The air's been filtering out this little finger ridge right here. You can see it drops off real bad on both sides. About the only way these deer come is up this finger right here to this field. And uh, the farmer said there was about 10 deer come out of this uh, uh, say a couple days ago, and we've just been waiting to hunt it. So, uh, the farmer saw a real nice buck probably a couple hundred yards from here this morning, and uh, so uh, we're hoping he uh, came this way and he'll come back this way this afternoon. Uh, fresh off Willie's kill from this morning, uh, it was exciting, fast, and uh, we hope we get a little bit better footage this afternoon, longer footage anyway, uh, this morning. Uh, about, you had about 10 seconds, that's about all we had. a lot of our uh, blood trail away but uh, got our first Illinois buck we haven't been in the tree probably three hours total trip started raining this morning uh, but I'm telling you what I'm tickled to death first trip wasn't going to be too choosy it's not been a good season for me so far so uh, I've got the monkey off my back, and I've got my first Illinois white tail. So, uh, you hang on. For my air, my air was stuck in a log. And I got to looking, and there's dang blood on my air. And I don't know, I thought, well, maybe that was a air shot another deer earlier in the year. And got to looking, there's blood on the ground. 
and I just got the shakes. It's, it's about 40, 40 some degrees, and uh, it's just it's just got me tore up. I just uh, I, I don't know what kind of hit it is. We went back and looked at the footage, and it happened so quick, we really can't tell. So I don't know. We we're gonna try to find this blood trail. I mean, it's good right here where I hit the deer. I mean, it's, there's blood everywhere. Well, it's probably been an hour since we've been tracking this buck that I shot that I didn't even know I shot. I just think I shot low, and uh, I don't think I got any vitals because deer ain't gonna run that far if he's got any kind of vitals at all. It's we've gone, I don't know, probably over 500 yards for sure, and so uh, we ain't finding no more blood. We're just finding uh, we found a speck of blood uh, from the last spot. It was probably 80 yards. I just happened to walk up on it. And uh, so I walked down back down in a big ditch. Didn't see anything down there. No word, no sign of him uh, laying down. The rust about to happen here. No noise. I, I imagine he's probably going to be back on the doe here for too much longer if he ain't already in. Uh, he is. Look at the camera. That's your first deer. Are you excited? Alright, well, let's go try to find him. Yeah, boy.